In this video, we are going to see how to validate emails in Airtable base by Neverbounce. So let's say that you have got certain data in your Airtable spreadsheet, like you have got the name email, and now you want to validate that email. So with the help of Neverbounce, you can do the same. Like Neverbounce is an email verification tool. So once you have verified, you can update your spreadsheet with the validation status. Now, how can you do that? For this, you will have to set up some integration between the two applications and the same thing can be done using Pabli Connect software. Here, your trigger application would be Airtable and your action application would be Neverbounce and then against Airtable. Now, how can you do this yourself? Integrate and automate this entire process. To understand that, let me take you to my screen. To begin with the process, we are first going to type the URL pabli.com slash connect and as we do that, here we have reached the landing page of this software. On the right hand side, you can see two options, sign in and sign up for free. So if you are an existing user, simply sign in. If you are a new user, click on this tab, sign up. It won't take more than two minutes. And yes, at the time of account creation, you will get 100 free tasks so that you can explore the software completely. Now I'm going to click on sign in. And as I do that, here we have reached the all applications page. We are going to click on access now for Pabli Connect. And here we have reached the dashboard of this application. On the right hand side, you can see a tab create workflow. Let's click on this. And another dialog box has appeared, which is asking me to name this workflow. So here my objective is that I have got certain details in my Airtable like name and email address. Now with the help of never bounce, I want to validate these email IDs and then update the validation status of these email IDs in the Airtable. So here I'm going to name it as validate emails in Airtable by never bounce. So now I'm going to click on create. So as we do that here, we have reached another window, which has got two extremely important events. One is trigger and another one here is action. Triggers and actions are basically those two principles or concepts on which this entire automation works. Trigger is when this happens, action here is do this. Basically action here is the response of our trigger application. Now here my trigger application would be Airtable. Let's click on this. As soon as we do that here, it is asking me for the trigger event. So this is the event that will make my workflow start. So I'm going to select new record. And here you can see that it is returned that this trigger will check for new data in every 10 minutes. This basically means that this trigger application is polling based and it has a polling time of 10 minutes, which means that this workflow will run after every 10 minutes to fetch for new data. So now I'm going to click on connect. And as I do that here, Pabli Connect is asking to connect itself with the Airtable account. I'm going to click on add new connection. And here we have to provide the token so that this connection can be set up. Now for this token, we have to first log into our Airtable account and then we have to go to account section. So here I'm going to go down. This is the API key. Let's copy this. Go back to Pabli Connect and paste this over here. Let's click on save. So once done, here we have to provide this information. But before this, I'm going to take you to my Airtable account. So let me take you here. So these are the various workspaces. And within these workspaces, we have got various bases. These are the tables. I've already created a table. The name is Never Bounce Validation Details. Let's click on this. And here you can see this is the name of your base. Then in, within this base, there is only one table, which is table number one. And here I've got the following column fields, first name, last name, email address and validation status. So here we have to create a field. So I'm going to create, click on this and we are supposed to create a field and the name is supposed to be created. C-R-E-A-T-E-D. And as I take you down, what is the field type? It is created time. So I'm going to click on this create field and this is absolutely necessary. So let me take you to Pabli Connect. Here it is written, create a field in your table schema with field name created and field type created time. Because if you do not have a created field in your table schema, make sure that you create one. Why? Because without this field, the trigger will not work correctly. So we have done that. Now I'm going to select the base. So what is the name of the base? Never bounce validation details. And since there is only one table within this, so it has already been captured by the system and even the trigger field. So now once we have done that, 
I'm going to take you back to never bounds and here we are going to fill data. So let's say the first name is demo. The last name here is user. Now I am going to provide an invalid email ID to check that if it provides the correct validation status. So let's say it is at gmail.com. Okay, so there is no email address with this name. And now I'm going to take you back to Pabli Connect. And here I'm going to click on save and send test request. So if I take you down here, we have received the API response. This is the field's last name, first name, email address, created time. So once we have received this, now I'm going to choose my action application as never bounds. Let's click on this. And here the action event would be to verify email address. Now I'm going to click on connect. And here again, Pabli Connect is asking to connect itself with the Never Bounce account. I'm going to click on add new connection. And to set up this connection, we need the private API key. So how can we find it? It is saying enter the API key to generate a new private API key. Go to apps screen in your Never Bounce account. You can specify any descriptive name when asked for an application's name. So first I'm going to take you to my Never Bounce account and here we are going to go to applications. Now here we can see a tab create new app. So we are going to click on this. Let's say the name of my application is demo app. I'm going to select custom integration and then here we have to fill in this information. So the minimum credit threshold I've selected it as 100. Send notifications to. So this is the official email address. And now I'm going to click on create app. So here we can see that the app has been created. So going back to never bounce. So here I'm going to go to applications. And here you can see demo app has been created. So when I open this, so this is the API key. So if I click on this arrow so this is my api key i'm going to copy this go back to Pabli connect and paste this over here so once done let's click on save to set up this connection and now i'm going to take you down here and here is the email address that we are supposed to verify we have to fill in the email address here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to map the information how do we map it so when i click on this it is going to show me the previous step i click on this and this is the email address this is how we map why is mapping important? Because if I write this manually, so every time the workflow runs, it will never take the new data into account. It is only going to go ahead with the manually written data. And thus, my workflow will be a waste. So now, once we have mapped this, I'm going to click on Save and Send Test Request. So yes, here we can see that we have received the information. And what does my result say? It says that this email address is an invalid email address. So once we have received this, what do I want? I want to update my Airtable account. So I'm going to click on this plus icon, add another action step. Again, I'm going to look for Airtable. Let's click on this. And the action event here would be to update my record. And let's click on connect. So here I'm going to go ahead with the existing connection. And now if I take you down here, we are supposed to fill in this information once again. So whatever was our base never bounds validation details. Now the table ID. So it has already been captured by the system. And here we have to enter the record ID. So how do I do it? As I click on this, it is going to show me the previous steps and I'm going to go to Airtable and this is my record ID. So once I have mapped this, so let's come down and now here we have to fill in this information. So for the first name, I'm going to go to step one. This is the first name and then we have the last name. So again, let's go to step one. This is the last name and now the email address. So this is the email address and then the validation status. Now for this, I'm going to go to step two, never bounce. And what is the status? Invalid. So I have mapped this data. Now this is known as mapping. I have not written this data manually. Why? Because if I had written this manually, then every time the workflow would have run, it would never have taken the new data into consideration. It would have taken only the manually written data. So it would be a waste. And that is why it is extremely important to map the data. Now, once I have filled in this information, I'm going to click on save and send test request. And as soon as I do that here, we have received the API response. So now I'm going to go to the Airtable spreadsheet 
and here you can see that it has been updated this is the validation status which says that it is invalid which basically means that this integration process is a success but now I need to check this in real time so what I'm going to do is so I'm going to add another detail so let's say it is test new then we have the email address which is test new at pablitudes.com now this is a valid email address so as soon as I click on enter so what should happen then automatically you know the status should be updated but we also know that here Airtable has a polling time of 10 minutes so now we are supposed to wait for 10 minutes so that the data can be updated and here you can see that the validation status has been received which is valid so this basically means that our entire integration process is a complete success now I'm going to take you back to Public Connect to understand what we have done so here our trigger application was Airtable where our event was new record then our action application was never bounce where the event was verify email address and our final action application was Airtable where we had updated the record. I hope this is absolutely clear to you if in case you have any doubt you can refer to the workflow which is given in the description box of this video. You can also clone the same and start to process immediately. Apart from this if there is any specific integration that you wish to work on you can always write to us. Not only this, but you can integrate multiple applications using Pabli Connect software. To ask any of your query, you have to write at forum.pabli.com. You can also visit our website, which is www.pabli.com slash connect. To get all the details about the latest updates, the integrations and applications, you can visit our Facebook group. If in case you have found this video helpful, then do not forget to share this with your friends and colleagues so that they can also get into automation and make their life easy. I'm going to see you very soon with different integrations and automations. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Take care of yourself.